Yo, what up, people? This is Nathan, and I'm back here in the field again. And I want to show you something cool. I'm a little apprehensive because of where it's located, uh, right there at that super big spiky plant. But I'm going to make my slow approach because I don't want to scare them. I just noticed it as I was looking, and I thought I saw something moving. And I want to show you guys squash bug real quick and talk a little bit about them and what, what exactly they do. Now, this here is a thistle. Now, I don't know what kind of thistle because I'm not super... I'm not getting too close because of the spikiness. But if you guys look at that, look how cool those look. These guys are called leaf-footed bugs, and they're related to squash bug. I thought they were squash bug at first. Now, what leaf-footed bugs will do is, and they're actually helping us out because you're here on thistle feeding on the thistle. Now, what you'll see, some there's some mites on there and stuff too, but they'll hang out in big groups like this, adults and nymphs together. They're true bugs, so they're part of the insect order Hemiptera. Now, what these guys will actually do, and I'll see if I can just do a quick zoom in here. You guys can see that a little bit better. Um, now, what these guys will do, and you see how spiky that is. They don't really care they're on there, and they're just like, whatever, dude. And they seem to really like thistle, because I see some other thistles around here, and they seem to really enjoy the plant juices. Now, they have a rostrum that's like a sharp point, and you can actually see one feeding right, right there. Um, and they will stick that into the leaves and into the stems and they will suck out the plant juices so they're actually being beneficial they're normally considered a pest but in this case they're beneficial because they're feeding on thistle which is indeed a, uh, a noxious weed um and so this is great because i got to see this whole colony of true bugs and you can see there's like a bunch more over there um and so the uh so what they do is they're different than butterflies now butterflies i'm going to scoop that a little bit are going to lay an egg which these indeed also do and then the egg will become a larval form, which is like a worm, caterpillar type form, or in the case of beetles and bees, grubs, uh, and then they will pupate and then become an adult. These guys don't have to worry about that. They, As soon as they hatch from eggs, they're already in their, not their adult form, but in a nymph form. So they just have to keep going and going and going and molting, and then suddenly they're an adult. So they have incomplete metamorphosis, but it's still very efficient, and it allows them to have a nice size population like this now the thing about these guys is that they are they can be confused for some other types of insects there are some insects around here like larger bugs and some of those squash bugs so when people say they don't like bugs this is what they mean these are the true bugs and so these guys are i'm correct in calling them bugs if you see a beetle or a wasp or an ant those are not bugs those are insects um so essentially all bugs are insects but not all insects are bugs uh, thank you for watching. I'm glad we got to explore the life of the awesome uh, true bugs today, especially these leaf-footed bugs, and got to see them in action. Um, stay tuned for some more content.